Good morning, everyone. Let's review some videos. Uh, we're going to go through some of these real quick. Uh, Easy Steak Stir Fry. As always, we're going to give them a like just because they're making content and that's good. So, tonight, let's make the Easy Steak Stir Fry. Lovely flank steak. Okay. We're going to cut these in thin strips. These are what's. That with the grain? I don't know. We should never cut even raw steak with the grain, but we'll see where this goes. Salt and pepper and some cornstarch. Give this a mix. Okay. Let's make our sauce. The cornstarch is there to thicken whatever sauce is going to put it in. Um, you could also make a slurry with it afterwards. Um, I guess combining it with the steak will give it kind of a nice crust um, with the seasoning, so that's okay. Always need garlic, fresh grated ginger, brown sugar, sesame oil, low sodium soy sauce, pineapple. Why, why, why is everyone obsessed with low sodium soy sauce? It's, do you know what soy sauce is? It's salt. You don't, like, low sodium soy sauce just does nothing. Just eat normal soy sauce. Juice. Touch of oil. So when you put the citrus juice in there too, if he plans on cooking it um, with the actual sauce itself, it's gonna turn a little bitter. Um, it's usually better to add in citrus, um, lemon juice, lime juice, ponzu, anything like that after the sauce has been cooked. It gives it a little bit of a fresher, brighter flavor. Plank steak goes in, only going about one minute per side. After we have a nice crust on the outside. Nice crust. My, my dude. My dude. You see this? You see this? What, what crust are you talking about? What crust are you talking about? The heat wasn't high enough. Also, if you look back, he, he doesn't use enough oil. If you're actually trying to like do a shallow sear, um, you either basically want almost no oil so the natural fats of the meat can come out or you want more oil if you're basically just doing a shallow fry or sear. Um, yeah, you don't need to add, like adding that much oil doesn't do anything. It comes off, we add our veggies. Okay, we got broccoli, snow peas, or snap peas, mushrooms, red pel bell pepper, and onion. That, that's fine. Like typically, mushrooms aren't in stir fry, but we'll we'll let it slide. A little bit of water, cover, and let them cook. Why are you steaming the vegetables? Just let them let them do their thing, man. Like you're searing the steak, but you're not searing the vegetables, so you're not going to have any of those natural sugars come out. You're just steaming the shit out of them, and that doesn't make sense to me, but. Okay. After about five minutes, lovely sauce goes. Five, also way too long to steam vegetables. Five minutes, that's, that broccoli is gonna be mush if, if it's really five minutes. Um, and flank steak goes back in. Okay, I keep interrupting, sorry. So like, instead of adding water to steam the vegetables, you could have just, you could have just added the sauce to basically steam the vegetables themselves and incorporate more of that flavor into it. Also, like, he's just getting, like, there's no crust on that steak. It's just, it just looks boiled, honestly. And there's going to toss it into this sauce that's going to be bitter from the citrus juice. After about two or three minutes on medium high heat, we're good to go. There's just no color. Is that, the peas are starting to explode. See, you see this pea? You see this pea right here? That's starting to explode because it came out of its shell because it's overcooked now. Bit of rice, lovely stir fry. Maybe a little more. Also, the point of stir fry is to what the namesake is. It's to stir fry. So I'm gonna give this one like sesame oh, seeds and green onions. The sesame seeds don't look toasted. You're putting you're putting sauce. Okay. Also, when you garnish something. You're supposed to fucking let the garnish be the last thing on the plate. He's going to pour more sauce over it, and it's just going to make the garnish wilt because green onions wilt really quickly. And, okay. That's all. Tonight, let's... Okay. Um, like, it, it just looks like crap. It, it's a quick, easy meal. Anyone can make this for, like, eight bucks at home. I encourage home cooking, but I'm going to give this one, like, a... I don't know, a four out of 10, three out of 10. It's not even stir fry. It's just boiled vegetables, undercooked meat, and a 
sauce that it's super runny. You can also see how runny it is um, right there. It's because he adds the cornstarch to the steak to give the steak a crust, but in reality, all he did was not thicken the sauce because he didn't cook the sauce with the steak. If he had put the sauce in with the steak to kind of do like a marinade in the pan, then that would have been a little bit better. Um, and it would have actually thickened the sauce a little bit, but now it's just a runny sauce, you know, bowl of mush. So we're gonna go with like four out of 10 on this guy.